If you have ever struggled getting more revenue, getting sales, monetizing your own Instagram account, especially if you have a small following yourself, for example, maybe you have a few thousand followers or something like that, and you have struggled, you have tried, but nothing has ever worked, this episode is specifically for you because today we're going to be talking about how we were able to make over $71,000 in just seven days with a small following. And this process is the exact process we take our high and paying and coaching clients to implement in their own Instagram account and we actually see amazing results with. So don't go, not go anywhere if you actually want to learn how to monetize your own Instagram account fast, even with a small following. Welcome, family, to another episode of Success Tank, the podcast that aims to uncover how entrepreneurs go from income to impact. And today we're talking all about, obviously, making a good income with your own Instagram following, even if you have a small following yourself. And obviously, obviously, if this applies also if you have a big following, and then taking that and obviously making a huge impact with your products and services. That's, at the end of the day, that's how we do it as entrepreneurs. That's how we grow the business. That's how we make an impact in the world by selling growing the company and serving our customers and clients the right way. So the question becomes, how do we actually sell? Because without sales, nothing works, right? That's that's the whole point of business, making sales, making a profit. So on Instagram, uh, for those um, that don't know, right? We're very good at Instagram. That's kind of our, our specialty. Um, and excuse me, if I, you know, I can't speak right. <laughs> this is probably like the most uncomfortable um, medium, if you want to say it, because you cannot see me per se. This is a podcast, and English is not my first language. Anyways, so we're very good at Instagram, right? We're, we're kind of known like quote unquote the Instagram guys or the Instagram marketing guys, right? Or the Instagram guy can guy um, or the IG boss or whatever. Um, and the reason because we're able to uh, we have we been called that name is because we have been able to monetize not only grow right not only grow accounts very very quickly but also monetize them effectively uh, which is one of the things that most people are lacking um, there's a lot of people that can grow accounts right there's you know I have five, six million followers myself a network of like 400 million um, and I know a lot of people that can grow really really fast but they cannot monetize and this is the key that we're gonna talk about in today's video and we're gonna go not only in a case study that I actually did for myself but then also how can you apply it for your own business no matter the business that you're in even if let's say for example you're shy you don't want to be in camera you don't want to be you know the quote-unquote personality behind like behind the brand this also applies for you and obviously it applies if you have a personal brand like me so let me walk you over through what actually first happened and then actually applying it for yourself so um this episode like i said it's called seventy one thousand dollars in seven days with a small following on instagram so back in uh september of 2018 uh we kind of like did a you know a sale of promotion uh, for our own instagram program ig boss so that program aims to like obviously teaches people how to grow how to monetize and then also how to build that successful instagram agency which is right now even to this day our main business model so we actually broke the two like the mil one million dollar mark with our own instagram marketing agency in nine months and by the end of that like uh, by you know by september of 2018 and then by december we actually almost doubled our numbers which is crazy right um and i'm going to talk about in future episodes as well how we actually did that did that um we did close to two million dollars by the end of 2018 which is insane right um it started from scratch almost now um the reason why i'm telling you all this stuff is because in that's kind of like what the actual program ig boss uncovers right showing you how to grow how to monetize and also teaches you um, how to start your own instagram agency um, and then obviously there's a ton of bonuses people get access to our you know a full network um i feel like there's a ton of amazing bonuses if you want to check this out um, just go to igboss.com and you will be able to see a free training in there it's a webinar it actually teaches you something it's very like in-depth don't like if you go there blog one or two hours because like it's not just some fluffy training um blog one or two hours and then if you want access to the course um, we give you special pricing um at the very end so if you want to see that that's there and also in that webinar we also show you how to make over one hundred sixty thousand dollars uh with only three thousand followers which is also kind of what we're talking about today now um that's kind of like what the ig boss program is right that's i just wanted to explain that before i actually show you how i actually sold it on instagram right and this applies whether you have an info product whether you have e-commerce whether you're selling services whether you're selling whatever like it doesn't matter um product services like if you're selling something instagram is the place that you got to be on now how do you actually sell this now the whole process of this 
is that you actually first need to warm up the people like you have to develop a relationship with them and then obviously you sell them something so the way i've done it and back in september i had like i don't know like 10 between 10 to twenty thousand followers so it's not a big you know it's decent it's okay i guess for most people but it's small in the terms of like the big realm like i and i didn't use a single account with the millions of followers i have right i have over six million right now and i didn't use a single one of the big accounts or like world of artists that has 2.2 million none of those accounts i used it i only use small ones now the question, like the, the, my personal one, and the question becomes like, how do I actually do it with only ten to twenty thousand followers? How was I able to make seventy one thousand dollars? That's the question, right? So it was a combination of selling, obviously, the IG Boss program, also our services. So we obviously, like I said before, we have an agency where we serve clients and people, uh, grow their accounts, monetize them effectively, whether it's a done for you or coaching or consulting with their team and building it up uh, so they can run autonomously. So either or, right? Uh, what did I do? Um, in that promotion, right? And this, and I've done that multiple times. Like last week, we did it as well. Um, in a few days, and we were a few days, we did over thirty thousand, right? Um, and we've done this multiple times over and over again. And clients, for example, like Lady Boss, is applying this exact strategy and doing over six figures a month organically. Like, think about that for a moment. And again, the, the it all comes back, circling back to the actual page and using Instagram Stories. Here is the key, and I want you to write this down. Instagram Stories is literally the gold mine on Instagram. Your number one goal on Instagram should be to increase your Instagram story views. Because if you're able to increase the Instagram story views, then everything changes completely, 110%. Like it is night and day, if you're able to increase your Instagram story views, means that your account is even more engaged, which means that your account is gonna grow faster and you're gonna make more revenue. Okay, now how are Instagram story? Why are Instagram stories so powerful? Because they already have urgency and scarcity, kind of uh, urgency already built into them because they disappear in 24 hours, and also because it's a very personal medium where people like consume content and you have their undivided attention because it takes up the full screen of your phone, right? So here's how it works on your Instagram stories. I want you to post for X amount of time, right? Just give value, just provide some type of value, whether that's entertainment, whether that's information, infotainment, combination of both, anything at all that you have that people want. The reason, like the result that people want to get when they buy your product or service, that's what you're going to provide them in small chunks. So for example, in my case, on my personal account, I om- I'm always posting tips about Instagram, tips about how to grow, tips about all that stuff, right? If um, our clients, for example, one of our clients, like for example, Lady Boss, right? She's posting tips on weight loss, right? Tips on weight loss on her Instagram stories, stuff like that. If you have a beauty page, right? You're posting tips about beauty, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like you get the point, right? Whatever, if you're in camping, you tip five tips on camping um, on how to camp efficiently. I don't care. It's, it all comes down to the same thing. Now, after you've done that, multiple times people are gonna see you as an expert. They're gonna like come to your stories over and over again because they actually enjoy them. They actually get value from them. And this is the key. Now, whenever you're gonna sell something, I want you to do a pre-frame before you actually sell them or before any call to action for that matter, right? Let's say, and the reason why, like, the reason why we do this is because we want to tell people to tell us yes before we actually pitch them something, right? Anything. So this is how we do it. We create a poll. Now on Instagram, you can create polls, ask people questions, which are loaded questions, because the only logical answer if they're watching is a yes. And you can also put people like put a thing like, where people actually ask you a simple question where you can literally just tell, hey, tell me your pain point so I can sell you. Like that's basically what you're doing. Um, and so for example, with the poll, right? Now let's say for example, um, in the fitness niche, right? Um, just to use an example, right? Let's say, and this is like, you can see this right now. If you go to Lady Boss, uh, the page on Instagram, you will see this exactly. Uh, you can see it on my own page. And you're going to see it, for example, on Becker's page, on Kevin Davis, on Dan Locke. Like there's a ton of people are, are, are doing this and it's working really, really well. So the way you do this is like you ask a question that's loaded. So for example, in the fitness case, it's like, uh, have you ever struggled with convenience eating or, or going out to eat and not knowing what to eat, right? Have you ever struggled with that? Or maybe have you ever struggled with eating out at night or going out have you ever struggled with knowing what exercises to use and at the end of the day people follow you on that page for that exact reason like you're just reminding them of your pain point and of their like of the result they want to get just just literally just reminding them so meaning like 90 percent 80 percent whatever of people who see this story are going to vote yes I, that's my pain point. Like I I feel it. Like that's what I want. So for example, and then you combine it with the stories of value. Like say, for example, you do five stories where you provide value upfront, right? 
by five stories, five times 15 seconds is, let's see, five times, it's, it's one minute and 15 seconds, right? They're committed by that point. So by the time you actually put something in front of them, like a poll, they're committed and they're actually going to vote yes. So like you're basically pre-framing them before you actually pitch them anything, okay? Now, after the poll, you can actually ask multiple polls if you actually want to weed out and actually pre-frame them very well. So you can ask, like, for example, um, just tell them, like, hey, I'm going to answer, like, ask you a few questions that I want you to answer just so I know who here uh, is interested in this, right? Boom, 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 and you ask several questions. And then you know who that Lisa right here has really, like, really, really wants to learn and know how to actually lose weight, right? So that's how you do it. Simple, right? Super simple. And then after the poll, you tell them, hey, okay, if you actually want this, just go to xyz.com um and i ordered to get it so just swipe up right now and boom if you obviously have over ten thousand followers you can swipe up um if you have less than ten thousand followers here's the little solution just tell people swipe up and direct message me x word in order to get this result so for example again the poll you make a loaded question they vote yes or no people vote yes then the next one you actually tell them hey swipe up okay swipe up in or, and send me a message with the keyword info or with the keyword whatever your product is, right? And that way, people who message you that you know for a fact, they're really, really interested in that, okay? Now, here's where most people stop. Most people stop here, okay? And this is like, you know, if I would have done like in those seven days, that would probably have been like, you know, 30, 30 grand or so, 30, 40, 40 grand, right? That, but that was half. That was half of my revenue, of the revenue that we did. Now, how do you actually get the other half? This is how you literally go back and see the people who voted because Instagram just tells you, right? Instagram just tells you, hey, John voted yes on this question, this question, this question, and this question. And John saw the entire Instagram story, all the 10 stories that you did and saw until the very end. So what that, what's that telling me as a marketer and as a salesperson, somebody that wants to grow the business? John is really interested in the product and service I have and actually will have a pain point and wants to get a result. What am I going to do? I'm going to simply message John. Hey, John, I noticed that you voted yes on the poll that we did where we asked about, um, for example, like the way I like uh, where we asked about if you would like five exercises or a routine in a program that actually gets your result in fitness. I was wondering what were your fitness goals? Boom. You start a conversation with John. John tells you, oh, my God, I cannot believe you actually messaged me. This is so awesome. Like, they, like here's the thing. They're, people already see you as the influencer. Like, how many here will love if Drake responded to one of your comments or one of your DMs? That would be freaking awesome. If, like, I don't know, like, a celebrity. Like, for example, for me, if Messi replies to me, I'll freak out, right? <laughs> um, so here's, it. like, people see you, obviously not like that, but, it's like, they still see you as an authority. So respond to your messages, respond to comments, and just message me. Follow up. The sales and the follow-up. Like, if you're able to follow up with people, you will make more sales. Like I think if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this, but if I'm not mistaken, is that 97, 96% of sales happen after the first point of contact. Only 3% of people actually buy that right then and there when they present it with an offer. 90, 97% of the rest of the people need follow-ups. So what do you do? Well, you follow up with John, you follow up with Lisa. That literally just told you that her problem was this. Literally just told you, I am interested in this thing that you have right here. So why wouldn't you? Okay, like people leave so much money on the table without doing this. Now, here's the funny thing is that most entrepreneurs, oh, but that's like total time consuming. Like, that's fine. I get it. Just just get a VA. Like, for example, I didn't even follow up with people um, when we were doing that promotion. That So I was not the one that was following up with people. We actually had a team member. She's freaking amazing. Her name is Luisa. And she was the one actually following up with people. I told her, okay, Luisa, look, I want to message X, like these people who voted yes on this story. I want to tell, like, tell them something similar to this. Um, and that's it. Boom. She messaged them and then out to like, obviously they replied and she started a conversation with them. So I gave him a specific frameworks or a little script that she could use on Instagram stories to actually close clients and make sales. Okay. So you don't have to personally be the one like typing in there all the time. Um, and if let's say, for example, if you don't have a team, obviously then it has to be new, but you can hire a VA, you can hire a VA. It doesn't matter. Like just doing this will make you more sales. Like, is it worth your time to spend two hours of your day messaging people? on DMs, on Instagram, if you're able to make $71,000 in seven days, which is zero ad spend and very little overhead cost, which made like mainly profit. Is it worth your time? Yes or no? <laughs> Come on, like, like, 
making um what more than most american make in just one in like most what making more than most americans make in one week in one year and you make it in one week is it worth it i'm sure it is right oh my god that was a mouth like a big I, that was a lot of brain power and right now it's like 3 20 a.m so that's why anyway so this is how you actually apply it right simple you make an instagram story you provide value then you make a poll you make a pre-frame and then you sell it on it and then after that you follow up with the actual person who voted yes that they were interested in it okay like again you will see 90 percent, 80 percent of people who see your entire story and then see the poll will vote in a positive uh answer because they're actually interested in what you have to offer <laughs> like i literally saw this the other day where um again and this comes back to building your audience and building rapport with them and going through the process of know like and trust you uh, which is the kltb process right and we're going to talk about this in like all the episodes we talked about this also in our youtube channel you can go check it out and also in the master class like i mentioned igboss.com we go more in depth in there um but i saw this also like with kino body right uh gregor gallagher um and he has a very strong relationship with his audience and he was literally just trolling somebody else and it was entertainment right it was like that little um when you see a celebrity blaming like talking crap about another celebrity and like they they have beef between each other and like everybody like the media freaks out or whatever that was kind of like the same thing that he was doing it was genius genius marketing awesome right he made 100 g's in 24 hours in like 24 to 48 hours <laughs> 100 g's from it like he's posted on stories he created like a debate a whole thing and then he pushed the product he's like all right how about this we're gonna make a sale in honor of blah 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 swipe up <laughs> i'm like this guy's freaking genius he made a hundred g's a hundred thousand dollars in about 20 24 to 48 hours from instagram stories just from that obviously he has a bigger audience his audience is bigger all that stuff i get it but the point still stands right if you're able to develop a relationship with people that will you provide a ton of value for free they build a relationship with you right this thinking long term you're setting up uh, an asset that's that's going to be valuable even like from years to come that's the most important part right you set up that you, you work on it and then you're able to sell to people and for example the, the another feature that i talked about here was the questions right you peak you can make people ask you questions you've seen that all the time like cute girls say ask me anything and it was like are you single <laughs> that, that, that's the only thing that they get, they get asked and i'm like do not do that like do not say ask me anything like that does not work if you're a dude nobody's going to ask you anything except your mother and saying where you are where are you where are you that you're not here and then and then your girlfriend's going to ask you what what are you trying to do like that's that's the only two people that are going to ask you questions if you're a dude if you're a girl and you get say ask me anything you're going to get a bunch of dudes asking you if you're single that's what's going to happen okay <laughs> instead of doing that um try to do it the other way instead ask a bloated question where the only possible answer is the problem that the person has so for example fitness again because of this we were using this example before um what is your biggest struggle with achieving your fitness goals boom put it right here in the question box right now and people are gonna be like oh i don't know how to eat right i don't know what to eat uh accountability i'm not motivated blah blah blah, blah. right what i do what do i do i'm just like what is your biggest struggle with your instagram marketing people are like oh my god i don't know i don't know how to get followers blah, blah, blah. all these different excuses right and and like it works in a niche like for example let's say i don't know camping what is your biggest struggle um that's stopping you from going camping every single weekend right if you love camping you obviously want to go all the time so what's stopping you from that and they're like oh my god like the packing and the preparing is such a headache it's just like horrible my tent sucks like the bag that i use doesn't is not able to carry everything and i can need to carry a bunch of bags and maybe you have an e-com store that solves that problem because you have a bag that fits everything i don't know right so it all comes down again to solving a problem and stating that problem and just make like reminding people of that problem and the solution that once again so asking loaded questions that's the key here whether you're asking you know using polls or using a, a question like the question thing and then from there they will actually answer you can actually reply publicly let's say for example lisa said i don't know what to eat boom okay no problem hey lisa look um actually i had that same problem i was overweight like for example like caitlin does this like uh, lady boss right she's like i was 65 pounds overweight i was actually in the same shoes that you wear and what they did i actually follow a simple process that now we call the lady boss program blah, 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 blah. boom value swipe up to get it simple right you actually use the question that people asked you to actually knock down that obstacle or that wall to make the sale and just sell it but you put it publicly because just like lisa they might be 100 other people or 10 other people who might have the same you know block or barrier um who are thinking about it but didn't put it 
But now that you saw them like respond to it, they're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Boom, then they buy, right? So whether you're using polls or using questions, use both ideally, right? I say use both. Obviously, use them wisely. Um, you don't want to be doing this every single day all the time because obviously people want to, you know, be more personal, all stuff. But the idea here is that you actually implement this stuff. That's the most important thing. And you will see results, whether you're having a big audience or a small audience. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to run you through the numbers right now. Um, of what I've seen is the average, right? On average, if you have a good account, good engagement is, you know, a lot of stuff, you will see between five to 10% of total followers watching your stories. That means if you have 10,000 people following you, you will have between 500 to 1,000 people watching your stories. If you have above that, your account is like a freaking amazing, it's like the unicorn. If you have below that, a little bit below is okay. If you have like 1% or half a percent, then obviously your account needs to work. Um, so obviously in that case, you really need igboss.com and you really need to watch our YouTube videos and you really need to watch every single episode in our podcast and apply it, right? Um, <laughs> but obviously, let's say, for example, even the 5 to 10%, you're good, your account is good, it's in good standing and that, like, you know, you can run to the numbers. Okay, oh, cool. I have, let's say, for example, you have a 1,000 followers, which is not a lot. You're getting 100 people watching your stories, between 50 to 100. Now, between 50 to 100 people, between 5 to 10% of total viewers would do any call to action that you tell them to. So that means between 50 to 100 people, um, between 5 to 10 people will do any call to action, okay? Any call to whether it's vote on a poll, answer a question, swipe up, whatever, okay? That means between 5 to 10 people. Let's assume that your product and service is high ticket, which I recommend everybody sell more expensive stuff all the time. Now, let's say you assume it's like 100 bucks, and you know, an average of 97 bucks or 100 bucks is your product or service. That means that five to 10 people every 24 hours you can pitch and sell to. Every 24 hours, five to 10 people, right? Boom. That means you have the possibility to make between 500 to $1,000 per day. Okay, obviously you're not gonna close everybody, but between 500 to $1,000 a day. Now let's assume like it's $500 a day. Five times, like, you know, 500 times 30 is $15,000. $15,000 per month, that is over a six figure business, and that is 180 grand a year with 1,000 followers. This is assuming you're not growing all that stuff. I just walk you through the numbers right there. If you want to hear it again, just rewind it. Again, five to 10% of total viewers will watch your stories. Five to 10% of that will do any call to action, and then you can actually sell them something. Okay? So, Again, this this thing works. And it obviously, as your page grows, more people will come in, more rapport you will build. Let's say, for example, from the 5 to 10% of people who view the story, maybe in a week from now, if you keep doing your stories and you keep it consistent, maybe they become, okay, I'm actually going to take you know the jump now. I saved a little bit of money, whatever. I'm going to buy whatever he's selling. So that's the thing. Your, your The leads and the people who are watching your stories are going to keep rising if you start implementing our stuff to grow, right? But then you will also start making more money because there are more leads, more people, more people are going to be watching you. Like Instagram is like, think about it as like an endless pool that just feeds you leads and traffic. That's how you apply it. Now, you might be wondering, okay, cool. So that's awesome. But what happens if I'm not good on camera? What happens if I'm shy? That's good for you because you're amazing on camera. That's not true. I don't think so. Uh, it took me quite a while to actually get to this point. And if you see the videos that I did before, they're actually really, really bad. So you just have to start, first of all, get over it. Stop, stop complaining so much, stop putting excuses, but I'm going to give you a solution as well. Um, cause I know, for example, in some cases, this is actually a valid excuse. For example, one of my students, his name is Alex Wilkie. He's one of, you know, one of the more successful students. He's got a very successful Instagram marketing business. Uh, he grew on a page from zero to 700,000 followers in just a year with the IG boss program. Again, if you want that, just go to igboss.com to see the masterclass of how he actually applied it, what he actually did and all that stuff. But Here's the problem. He is like six foot tall, has a huge beard, and his page is a beauty page. So, uh, for girls, right? A beauty page for girls like makeup, skincare, blah, 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 like all this stuff. And he has zero clue about anything makeup, like zero. If you ask him like, what's like this like pen or whatever, I don't even know how to call it because uh, I have no idea about myself. <laughs> um, he will not know at all. But he still was able to build it uh, because he follows a simple process and a simple system that actually works. He's one of like, it's called Beautify Basics. It's one of the like biggest and most fastest growing pages on Instagram in the beauty niche, right? Now, what they actually do, because obviously he wasn't able to do the Instagram stories himself. He's a dude. Women want to see a woman put makeup, not necessarily a dude, especially if the dude doesn't know what he's talking about. So what did he do? Well, he leveraged his own following that he already built to get another person to actually do the stories for him.
So that means for in the, her name is in this case is, is uh, I believe Maddie or Ma, Ma, yeah, it's Maddie, I think. So he got Maddie, right, to do stories, Instagram live, be the face of his brand, and he leveraged his own big following to have Maddie come in and do that for him. And why would Maddie do that in the first place? Well, because you have a big following. And she knows that her being on that channel in basically the front cover of that channel is beneficial for her because it will grow her brand as well. Think of it as being in CNN, right? The news anchor in CNN is beneficial for him because he's growing his own brand as well. He's becoming famous himself. But the owners of CNN don't want to be in front of the camera. Like the owners of ESPN don't want to be in front of the camera. They just hire people who are actually good in front of the camera and just boom, put them there because they already have a big audience. They're leveraging that and putting them there. Same thing here. Okay. You have a big channel on Instagram and he had, in this case, beautified bases. He took somebody that was actually good, the new makeup, do all this stuff, boom, put it there. And that's was the face of the brand. And he was still be able to do this as well. Okay. So that's how you do it. Whether you have, you know, your personal brand, you want to apply yourself or your own account, your personal brand, you want to become, you know, an influencer or whatever, or you're a little bit shy, you don't want to do it. You create what's called a theme or a brand page. You build that up with our strategies, the same, you know, the same way we actually tell everybody to do it. You do that. And then from there, you take somebody else and put it, boom, as quote unquote, your news anchor for your channel. Okay, or your page in this case, right? And she becomes the face of your brand and she does the selling for you. Simple as that. So hopefully you understood this process and how to actually do it. It's very simple. It doesn't take too much time, believe me. And we actually set up systems and created systems to actually streamline the process even further. Uh, because for example, right now, sometimes I'm like traveling or whatever and you see me doing Instagram stories but that's not really me doing Instagram story live at the moment. So there's obviously ways that you can actually systematize this and optimize it with, for your time. Cause I know entrepreneurs like that's one of the things I say, I mean, I don't want to be doing videos and Instagram stories all the time. That's fine. We actually have systems and I've created systems and stuff and processes to actually help with this. And we're going to talk about this in further videos as well. But um, right now, for example, if you want to find out a little bit more about us, what do we do? I have a couple, like I have a couple requests to ask you. This is episode number five in our podcast that we just launched, Success Tank. And what I want you to do right now is just subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast. I would really, really super duper appreciate it. Give us a five star rating if you want to, and then leave us a review. Leave us a review here, maybe about this episode. What do you like? What do you like the most? Maybe you go implement it and then come back here and leave a review saying what like what results do you get or what do you think about this episode? Just leave a review. I will really appreciate it. Uh, any feedback, either positive or negative, will be great, greatly appreciate it. We're trying to improve in this new medium because we've never done really podcasts. Um, is the most uncomfortable one, like honestly. Um, again, because English is not my first language. It's like mainly completely audio. So, and what I want you to do is subscribe to the podcast, rate it, right? And actually also go implement it. And then when you implement it, let me know, okay? I want you, I really, really want to know. I have students, like people like just take this free information if I've gone applied it and made $15,000 in 24 hours, right? Obviously they have a bigger following and in that case had like 90,000 followers. So if you have 90,000 followers, go apply this stuff. This works. If you have a small following with just a thousand followers, go apply it. This works. If you have 10,000 followers, go apply it. This works, okay? And we're gonna talk about in further episodes as well, which is why you need to subscribe so you do not miss it and how you can actually implement this stuff and even get the swipe up feature with less than 10,000 followers and expedite this a lot further um, as well. So we're going to talk about that in a little, another video, another episode of this podcast. And I don't want to spoil the surprise. So again, I want you to subscribe to the podcast, rate it, leave us a review that will really, really super help. And then let me know, for example, on Instagram or on YouTube, on a Facebook comment or something, send me a DM somewhere or an email, email, um, letting us know that you heard it and what do you like about it. And obviously if you want to find out a little bit more about what we do, how we implement this stuff and all that good stuff, just go to igboss.com. That's a completely free training and a free masterclass. And if, actually, if you want to take a step further and you're like, you know what, I actually want the program. I actually want to join the program and coaching program with all the bonuses, and all that stuff. I'm going to give you actually a special offer just for the listeners of the podcast of the podcast right now. Um, it's a special link just for you guys. So all you have to do is go to igboss.com slash podcast and you will be able to get a really special offer just for the listeners of the podcast. This is my way to say thank you to you guys uh, for listening and obviously taking action. So again, igboss.com slash podcast and you will be able to get access to that there. So again, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Uh, it has been a pleasure being here with you today. 
um, make sure again, go apply it, go apply because again, me talking in your ear right now, all the sexy with the sexy pose, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it's not going to get your results, just listen to me, go do something, all right, go implement it, and I cannot wait to see the results that you actually get from this episode.